Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's version of Tom's Toolbox How-To, I'm going to teach you an overview of some of the key differences between the NEMA and the IEC motors. Now, in the U.S., the most commonly found AC motor is regulated by the Watch this now. National Electrical Manufacturers Association. Pull the first letter out of each of those words, and yeah, you get NEMA. These motors adhere to NEMA standards for horsepower, speed, voltage, frame size, as well as defined operating characteristics. Now, an International Electrotechnical Commission, yeah, IEC motor, adheres to and meets IEC 341 for electrical performance and IEC 721 for mechanical design. Now, while both the NEMA design and the IEC design motors convert electrical electrical power to mechanical power, they are not directly interchangeable. NEMA motors are horsepower rated for 60 hertz power, and you can read that on the nameplate. And IEC motors are kilowatt rated, and they run on 50 hertz power. Now, because of this 50 hertz power, standard base speeds are not the typical 3600, 1800, and 1200 RPM that are going to be found with the NEMA motors. IEC motor base speeds are 3000. 1500 and 1000 RPM. The common voltages for IEC motors, 220, 380, and 400 volts. While the NEMA motors, they're going to commonly use 230, 460, or 575 volts. Another difference is the mounting configuration in NEMA terms defines both the motor mounting position and the lead outlet position. In IEC terms, the mounting field only defines the mounting position of the motor horizontal, vertical, or wall mount. The lead location is not defined. However, it is common practice in Europe to have a top-mounted conduit box with the lead outlet position supplied in F2 location and rotatable to the F1 position. That's if it's desired. Here again, IEC specs are not specific to define a unique product configuration. In fact, both side and top-mounted conduit box locations are allowable under the IEC standards. Frame differences also exist between the NEMA and IEC motors. Now, NEMA frames D dimension, which is the base to the center shaft distance. Now, that's found by dividing the first two digits of a NEMA frame size by four. Now, this is going to give you the dimensions in inches. For example, let's just say we got a 213T frame NEMA motor. It has a D dimension, and that's going to be five and a quarter inches from here to the center of the shaft. With an IEC motor, this is known as the H dimension. Now, this dimension is used to identify the frame. Same thing, we're going from the base to the center of the shaft. For example, if we had an IEC 132 frame, it has an H dimension, check this out, of 132 millimeters to the center of the shaft. So we had inches and then we had millimeters. Now, although NEMA design motors are most commonly found in the U.S., many IEC motors have found their way to the U.S. on OEM equipment. Now, there are performance and physical differences between them, and understanding the differences is going to enable you to properly support your needs. Another major difference is enclosure. In NEMA, the enclosure defines the protection level as either enclosed or open, and the cooling method is either fan-cooled or blower-cooled. Uh, fan-cooled would be and then you got blower-cooled, which is just in case you weren't sure. Now, in the IEC world, the enclosure is defined with the IP code, and the cooling is defined with a separate CI cooling code. So, the combined IEC IP plus IC equals the NEMA enclosure. Hopefully, this is going to help you with your practical application. And if you have any questions at all, you can always contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they're going to be able to help you out. And uh, don't forget to look for other how-to videos, whether it's a Motion Industries how-to or it's part of Tom's Toolbox. Hey, thanks for watching today.